Okay, so this is a tutorial on how to make a lead synth. Um, this is my first tutorial, so I know I sound very excited. Woohoo! Okay, so we're going to create something like this. <laughs> Okay, so what we're going to do first, I'm going to go ahead and use Silent 1. Um, I'm just going to go down. That way we have all of these are just, you know, singular, like whatever. Like right now, it's just, you know, a saw. And then, it's, you know. Well, anyway, okay. So first we're going to start with 1. Okay, so. Right here, actually, we're gonna do this. We're gonna. Um. Okay. So that sounds pretty crappy. So we're gonna turn the retrig off. We're gonna turn these voices up. We're gonna add this. Um. Maybe a square like that. It's one step up from a normal square. Okay, so now it sounds like. Okay, so this is where the detune comes in. Okay, so that's pretty dang easy. Okay, so you're gonna want to do the same thing over here, except maybe you're gonna want to maybe use that. Turn the detune up. Same thing over here. You can use, you know, whatever sounds good. So now it sounds like... Okay, now you can start messing with the octaves. The octave is like... Let's just say you're playing a C. One note up from a C would be a C2. So... Okay, now get the like the whole cutoff lead build up thingy. What you're gonna wanna do is for part A, I'm gonna slide that up and go A B and turn the cutoff a little bit down, turn the key track a little bit up, turn the cutoff. <laughs> Same thing for part B, except it's going to be B A. Okay. So now it sounds like this. Okay, sounds pretty good. You want to right click on this, make the cutoff A B, turn the sustain all the way up, maybe a little bit of release. Um, decay a little bit, leave the attack where it is. Um, you're going to want to turn, I forget to tell you, you're going to want to turn the sync off. Okay, just making sure that doesn't work. Okay, so that's what you're going to want to do for the first one, okay? You want to delete, I have two of these already, so I'm just going to delete them. Okay, so you're going to want to clone, it's going to pop up again. Um, we'll go ahead and do that. You can't hear this layer, it's muted, so it's only these two playing. So right now we we have a total of um, eight oscillators that are playing. Now you're going to want to change the settings on these and these only. Okay, now that's actually starting to sound pretty decent, so you're going to want to go in here and you're going to want to equalize and everything 
add a little bit of delay, reverb, isotope, ozone 4. If you have that, it's very powerful. Um, you can also use this. Um, Equio, however you say that, actually works very nicely. So, um, we got that. Okay, so a layer works as in we don't have to put these two melodies in the same time. And by the way, this isn't my melody. I got it out of a MIDI pack. I might actually add the MIDI pack for you. So, um, here's what it sounds like. Here, I'm going to go ahead and delete um, that. So that way we have our layer playing. Now I want to go to your layer. Control, as in holding it. Or, sorry, shift and hold both of them. And set children. That way the layer has these to play. So it sounds like... <laughs> Okay, so that's how Lara works. Okay, so we got that. <clears throat> now, I already made a kick. I made this in Dremazon. And, um, um, Dremazon is really nice. I'll, I may do a tutorial on it later, but I made this kick. I didn't sample it out. Or, I mean, I sampled it out. <laughs> I didn't, you know, steal it from anybody, so. Okay, so this is what it sounds like. Oops, I forget. Um, I have the XY controller. So, what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to go to your plugin, you know, screw around with the cutoff, go to options, or I mean tools, last tweaked, <clears throat> um, uh, link to controller, you want to go like X or Y depending. Okay, so except um wanna do the same thing with the other one. Move around. Last tweaked. Um link to controller. X. Okay, except. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Um, have fun. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to send me a private message or anything. Um, I'm willing to help. Uh, like my Facebook page. Um, you know, I'll have a link on my channel eventually and probably on my videos. Anyway, um, thank you for watching. I hope you learned stuff. <laughs> okay.